السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم Thank you for joining me again, sweethearts. I'm so happy that you guys are here. Every day and night we remember Hussein. We cry for Hussein and we call Ya Hussein. Today we're going to do a very special kind of craft that isn't about Arba'in. Hmm. What could it possibly be about this time? Well, let's check out our special booklet to find out. Our book that you can get from kissakids.org, the Arba'in Project booklet. And somewhere around the end of the book, flick, 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 we're going to hear a story about Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam. Why Imam al Hassan? I'll tell you in a bit. I just want to show you guys how you can go to the final page and find this special template that you can print out and cut using your safe scissors for today's special craft. My feet, they keep walking towards Karbala. Finally, I see the dome of Hussein. Did you know? That just at the end of the month of Safar, we remember another special member of the Ahlul Bayt. In fact, Imam al Hussein's brother, Imam al Hassan alayhi salam, and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. During the end of Safar is the Shahada, the martyrdom of Imam al Hassan. Imam al Hussein and Imam al Hassan were two close special brothers. They grew up together, they played together, they went on lots and lots of fun adventures together. One day, when Imam al Hassan and Imam al Hussein were playing outside, they saw an old man who was making wudu and he was getting ready to pray. Imam al Hassan and Imam al Hussein watched them and thought to themselves, hmm. He's not doing his wudu right at all. We should try to tell him how is the right way to make the wudu. What do you think they did? Did they go to the old man and say, Hey, you, you're doing it all wrong. What do you think you're doing? Did they embarrass him? No, of course not. Instead, they thought of a smart and genius plan. They went to the old man and said, Excuse me, sir, can you see the way we are making our wudu and make sure if it's correct? So the two brothers made their wudu for the old man to see, and he got the hint. He realized that the young smart boys were trying to kindly tell him how to make his wudu right. And that's the lesson we can learn from the Ahlul Bayt salam. What color should I choose? For my bread. Hmm, I'm going to color in the crust. The message that we can learn from the Ahlul Bayt السلام, is that when it comes to doing Amr bil Ma'ruf wa Nahi Anil Munkar, when it comes to teaching people to do good things, we're not allowed to make anyone feel embarrassed. We're not allowed to judge them. We're not allowed to tell them, hey, you're a bad Muslim. God doesn't love you. No, if we break their heart, then that's a mistake as well. Instead, we should do what Imam Hassan did. We should show them with kindness and with patience. We should show them in a way that wouldn't make them feel embarrassed and instead would remind them of Allah and remind them that Allah loves them very much and he just wants them to learn good things. Well, you can go ahead and color this thing up however you want. My toast is going to be orangish. You can color your toast maybe blue or green, but then that would look kind of funny, wouldn't it? I have some ready here. We are already cut out. How much I've been dreaming to see Karbala. How much I've been dreaming 
And I made two versions of these. This version is for the kitties, the little ones. And we're going to make a kindness sandwich. On this page, you can draw something that you do, which is an act of kindness, an act of being nice, like what Imam Al Hassan did. Well, you can help your brother or sister collect all their toys that they had on the floor. Suppose they were playing with blocks all over, the blocks were scattered all over the ground, colorful blocks too, and you can help collect them, put them in the box for them, you can help them with their homework, you can help them with their chores, those are all very nice things to do, aren't they? And then you can put it between your two toasts and you'd be making a kindness sandwich. Or if you're older and you know how to write. Hmm, we can say helping words, kind words that would make other people feel very happy. We can say, oh, you look so good today. We can say, oh, I pray that Allah helps you. Or when someone sneezes, what do we say? We say, Alhamdulillah, right? We say, Alhamdulillah, and remind them to say, Alhamdulillah to Allah. Those are good things that we can do for other people. And then we'd have our kindness sandwich. Hmm. It's kind of making me hungry. But before I go, just a quick reminder for you guys to check out this lovely book on kissakids.org. It's about the Arba'in project. And at the end of it, it talks about Imam al Hassan as well, the brother of Imam al Hussein. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for being with me, my darlings. Until next time, Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.